welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be kitting up this diamond painting. So this diamond painting is this image here. Um, it's I called it Mount oh, I called it Rainier just because it looks like Mount Rainier to me. I live in Washington State and well it you do see Rainier in lots of places when you're driving around Washington State. So I got this from Evershine on AliExpress. It's $14.48. Well, I paid $14.48. Um, it's smaller than the 45 by 60 that I ex wanted to get, which was, so it's a 44 by 58, but that's what I expect from um, who can, I guess, sister stores, because I think Evershine is a who can sister store. So they are never true to size. They are always slightly smaller. So if you're thinking about framing one of these, um, know that before you buy. So this is a double-sided adhesive with square drills that have DMC numbers and there are 48 colors in all. So how I usually start any kitting up with double-sided adhesive is I will check to see if there is any um, rivers and things like that that I need to fix before I start diamond painting because when I'm diamond painting I just want to diamond paint and I don't want to have to deal with all of that um so I don't normally have the issues with the rivers with who can I don't think they I think their canvas adheres well to the double-sided adhesive so I don't normally have any issues with with any of rivers forming so the main problem so i don't if you watch my unboxing which i'll link above is i don't know if you could tell but they put the tape in weirdly right here can you see um like so that that was not because of shipping that was when they were putting on the tape they didn't put it on where the canvas was straight like like there's an excess, um, well, the, the canvas wasn't completely straight, but the one good thing is it's all at the edge where I'm not putting dr drills on. So, um, but if that had been on the diamond painting, that would have been, I would have to do something about that. So yeah, I think, I think overall I dodged a bullet there. So yeah, I don't see anything but yeah isn't it beautiful it's yeah i don't know if it's mount rainier um i do i tried to find a picture of one of my hiking pictures of mount rainier and well this is why i tried to find one with all the flowers because the flowers are pretty but yeah this was me hiking on my way to camp muir on mount rainier um well i'm taking the picture i'm not in there but yeah it does look like Mount Rainier, right? I think. Yeah, maybe. See, my, my picture's all snow, so. <laughs> I tried to, yeah, I tried to find a picture where Mount Rainier was, I was looking at Mount Rainier in the same direction as this, but I couldn't find one. But yeah, no, this is, I'm hoping it will turn out really, really good. So first, let's see. I'm gonna just cover the edges that have the excess tape because it already looks kind of gross because this has been stored for a couple months and I already see fluff on the canvas just because you know when you pull back the double-sided adhesive you never pull it back again exactly the same way so just covering all of this stuff because yep I just don't want it to be even more okay should i cover this bottom it does look kind of gross at the bottom but there's so little extra at the bottom i don't think i need to cover it so okay this side it's it's huge the amount that i've had yeah, the amount of excess so i'm gonna cover it with my bigger my wider, not bigger, wider masking tape. Is it 
covering it. Yeah, it's covering it. Okay. So if you're new to diamond painting and you see everyone says you have to cover it with washi tape at the edges, you don't. Masking tape, which is way cheaper than washi tape, will work just fine. If, even if you just have clear tape, like clear tape, that's perfectly fine too. Um, but yeah, I, when I first started, I thought you had to use the washi tape and, and then I bought some and then I'm, yeah, I, I quickly found out that no, you don't have to spend that kind of money. But the washi tape is much prettier, right? Okay, so. I will probably start this at the bottom and then make my work my way up. So I'm gonna just cover it back up. It is so much easier covering it back up when you have the, the tape around because you do have, now you have like, oh, you could overlap these things. Um, Well, hopefully I didn't do too much overlap. And then I have this really dinky small piece here. All right, so that's all prepped. So I am going to kit up using this storage container. I did just unbox this. Um, I just bought this. This is the first time I'm using these containers. Um, they are the bottle containers. I don't actually have any of these myself, so I don't know how well these will work, whether I like them or not. So there should be 60 in this um, drill container and I have 48 colors, so I should have 12 extra in case anything needs more than one container. I did actually cut up some mail to make these dividers because when I bought them and they didn't have the dividers, but they have like these slots, like, I don't know if you could see like here, they even have slots going this way too. So I made these dividers just so that they would, I don't know, not fall over completely. I may end up all may end up just changing it and putting the dividers this way, but for now, that's, that's the way I was gonna go do it. Okay, so I'm gonna move the camera down and we'll get to the kinning up. Okay, so I moved the camera down. Now I have my drills here. Um, I did scan the legend and I made stickers from it. So let's just label all these first. I don't know, how am I gonna work on this? Am I normally, but I just do go this way or should I start here? I think I'll start here and then because you know, these are gonna be the ones closer to me and then any extra will be farther away. Yeah. So yeah, I, have, I haven't used these before so that's why I'm pondering how I'm going to use these. Let's see. So yeah, I'm just gonna label them all first. Um, hopefully, most of everything will fit in just one container. Um, these do come pre-bagged and and I know you could just work from the baggies, but I don't like to. Um, I'm one of those people who like to dip my diamond painting pen into my container so um, so that I could get like one or two. And especially these AliExpress diamond paintings, they tend to be very, very confetti heavy. So um, sometimes you really just need like one drill. So yeah, the baggies, I've tried. I've tried dripping my pen into the baggies and just getting one, it didn't work. So you always have to pour it out and I don't like opening and closing them um, so often and yeah. And plus I don't use the key 
this is my key. So when they're on the containers like this, I can see all the, the symbols um, in front of me. So I only really have to find the drills once instead of looking at the key, finding and then looking for the drills. So yeah, I just, and this is why I also scan the legend is because then I could, like I said, I refer, this is my key. So I do like that the, I have the color in there with the symbol, so it's easier for me to find. I probably will move these in alphabetical order um, just because these are individual containers and I could do that. I also decided, I was like, you know what, I, I could make these bigger. I didn't, I didn't need to, because I'm scanning them and I could print them, I could blow them up to how big I want to. So yeah, I made these much bigger than I have been. So you might even be able to read it on screen, so, depending on how how big your screen that you're watching is. But yeah. So I primarily got this diamond painting because one, pre-pandemic, I was, I don't know if I consider myself a crazy hiker, but I, I hiked a lot. Um, Washington State has a lot of beautiful um, hiking places. Um, what's great is you don't have to drive, or at least where I live, you don't have to drive far to get to snow, but I don't live in snow. Except this weekend, like, I'm recording this President's Day weekend, which is 15th of February, President's Day. Um, what's it called? And Seattle and its surrounding areas got a freak snowstorm. So yeah, normally I have to drive to go see um, snow, but nope. Wait. This didn't peel. I must have accidentally cut too much because the backing's still on this. But yeah, normally I have to drive to see snow, but nope, snow came to me. So. I mean, by the time this video gets posted, it'll be like not February 15 anymore. So this, the snow has actually started melting. Like it snowed Saturday, Sunday, and some of Friday, and now it's Monday. And yeah, the snow has already started melting. So it didn't last long. Um, but yeah. It, one good thing is it was the holiday weekend, so um, I didn't have to drive to work, and and hopefully by the time I do, it will have melted enough so I don't have to figure out how to get around in snow. And I remember the last time it snowed in Seattle, like I saw like some posts where people were making fun of Seattle freaking out that it snowed. Well, you know what? It doesn't snow that often, so we're not ready. Like, one, there's hills. So, like, I like I was trying to plan out how I'm going to get to work. So I have to plan out, like, certain roads that are less, what's it called, inclined than others, just so that I could drive to work without, you know, sliding down the hill. <laughs> But yeah, I'm glad that, yeah, it's the weekend. I don't have to figure out how to get to work. Um, so, and plus I'm telecommuting most of the time. So if necessary, I'll hold off and going to work until everything is melted. So yeah. So the one bad thing about this container is Unlike the um, containers that are in like these zip, like containers, like the these are very a, a very tight fit, so um, might be hard to take the stuff out, but we'll see. Okay, one fifty four. I do keep all my baggies, so those will just go into my fifty million baggie storage. Uh, the one bad thing about these round ones is. You could kind of put it in like upside down. Oh well. It, I don't have any of these 
container, so I've never tried them. So we'll see if I end up liking them or not. I know some people really love this storage system, so, um, and hence why I had to get them. And look at it, it's like pretty. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. This is why I, I really love the storages. They look pretty. Um, oh man, did I not put this in order? Here's 158, so where's 157? So when I when I put these things away, I try to put them in back in order, but you know they get they get mixed up in here. One sixty one. Oh, here's one fifty seven. It must have been heavy and it fell in. So so this one says fourteen seventy eight. So this we'll see. Does fourteen seventy eight fit? Yep, barely. So. There's still, there's still space, so let's see how much could fit in here. So, I don't know what I was talking about anymore. Yeah, so it did snow. By the time this gets posted, it the snow will probably have melted, and it's probably already going to be spring. Um, I do, what's it called? My kitting up is done much earlier than my actual posting it, because I do kit up a lot in advance um, and then I kit them up I mean and then I start posting them on YouTube when um, when I'm sure I'm gonna finish it so I do kind of plan to do this soon because I really do like the image um, but we'll see I hope it does turn out as good as I think because I'm, I'm testing out like so I know this would probably look much better in a much bigger um, size but I don't want to do too many massive diamond paintings just because of storage issues like where would I store it after I'm done um, so I'm trying to trying to see what the limits of 45 by 60 are just because that's the size of my art portfolio so I'm hoping that even though this is not a massive size, I mean, it's still, it's still pretty big. I don't tend to do that many this size. So it's still a pretty big size, but I'm trying to see how much 45 by 60 can hold, um, or not hold, but like how good 45 by 60 will be for certain images because, um, yeah, no, this is not all going to fit. 310-9179. Yeah, so I think I'll anything that doesn't fit in the... I'll just keep in the baggies and then see what... How many... See if how many I would need to put into extra bottles. Okay, okay. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, I don't think that's going to close. So... Yeah, I'm trying to test out how much detail I could get from a 45 by 60 because that is my art portfolio size. And I want, I, I just kind of want to stick to that size and below unless I'm planning to, to what they call that, frame it. Um, I do have bigger ones that I haven't done yet. Um, Three one two. I've lost two. Where's three one two? Okay, three one two is here. Nine. Here's twelve. See ten out there. See the problem when there's so many colors and the bag is big. Even though I do put them away in in DMC order, they don't always stay that way. So yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I'm trying to test out how how detailed I could get in just a forty five by sixty because I think that's going to be my go to size for anything larger just because of storage um i do like that i'm able to store my my what they call that my 45 by 60s in an art portfolio so yeah no this is not gonna fit man i just have a little bit left no that's not gonna fit so i'm not gonna squeeze that in so yeah that'll just have to stay in the baggie um, and I'm hoping 
so yeah, 45 by 60, I'm hoping will be good enough for most images. Um, I think I might just have to be more selective on the images I choose, nothing too, too detailed so that it'll still turn out. Um, but yeah, I can't, I can't keep doing the big ones. Like I think, yeah, I might just do the ones I have and unless I really, really want to do the image in a massive size because I'm going to frame it. I'm, I'm going to stop buying the ginormous ones. Watch, I still buy the ginormous ones. I probably will. It's just, yeah. Some of the images just look really, really nice and you want to buy the big one. But I'm going to try to stop myself from buying anything bigger than 45 by 60. Um, unless I do plan to frame it. Um, I might, I might go as far as 50 by 70 because that will still fit in my, my, it's not my portfolio book, but it is still like a art portfolio. So even I, well, it's not really, it's, it's more like an art portfolio bag. So it'll still, uh, 50 by 70 will still fit in there. So I might do a couple 50 by 70s if I really like the image. Um, but yeah. Man, it's not that easy to pour into these. It's a good thing I do this on top of the tray. But yeah, I think I'm gonna stick to 45 and by 60 and below. Like, I've been wanting to buy like a couple images from Diamond Art Club, but I swear they are just getting bigger. Like every time I get like an email saying, these are my new releases, or I think I'm, I'm on their Instagram, um, I'm, I'm subscribed to their, I follow their Instagram. So they like say, oh, here are our new images. And then the first thing I look at is not the image. It's like, what size is this sucker? And I swear they're just getting bigger and bigger. Like, yeah. So yeah, but I'm probably not gonna buy any Diamond Art Club soon until they decide, they, they start trying to cater towards people who, who wanna do their images but not by the ginormous sizes because yeah, where do you put them after you're done? Like, I'm serious. Like I would like to know what people do with them after they're done because yeah, that's my main reason. 550. So here's 552. Here's 553. Here's 554. Oh, there's 550. But yeah, I'm, I just don't know what to do with ginormous diamond paintings. So, yeah. Okay, so what else can I tell? Oh, so pre, like I was talking about before, pre-pandemic, I did do a lot of hiking. I even, I even did a little bit of, I guess, beginner mountaineering, um, where you summit some mountains. I don't know if I'm going to do anything super crazy. Like, okay, so the hardest mountain I summited was Mount Adams, um, which is the, I believe it's the second highest peak or volcano. It is a volcano. Um, second highest volcano in Washington state. Um, Mount Rainier, I think is the highest. And the only reason I did Mount Adams is you don't need to do a rope team. It's just a really long way up. Um, so when I did that one, I, I actually camped the, it, I actually did it over two days. So first, um, got to, forgot what it's called. Camp, man, there's a camp like before you get to the summit where everyone camps out so that they could try to go uh, um, go to the summit the, the the what's it called the morning after but man I think was it camp long maybe but yeah no I I did it like as a two-day thing where I got to the camp and I think the camp is at like about 9,000 something or 8,000 something elevation and then you camp overnight and then you start the next day yeah, no, this is not going to fit either. 
man, it's only a little bit. Um, and then you start again the next day. Like, I think I started again, like at 6 AM to get to the summit, um, the next day. So yeah, that's the craziest one I did was Mount, Mount Adams, which I think is like 10,000 something elevation. Um, 22, where's 23, 23, 24. Okay. So yeah, pre pandemic, I was a not necessarily crazy hiker, but I did do a couple of the more crazier hikes. Cause like, yeah, Mount, um, what's it called? Mount Adams is still a mountain, but yet you don't have to like rope up, which I, ref I don't, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do that. Roping up. That's just too scary. Like the fact that you have to rope up because you might fall into like, a crevasse is not my hiking of choice. So yeah, I think I'll just stick to things where you could just walk up. So, but yeah, it, you could just walk up, but it was still hard. Like I did have to get crampons, which are like these spike things that you put on your, your, sh over your shoes so that, you know, you could walk on the ice. So, and I did have an ice axe so that when you, uh, so what's great sometimes about, um, mountaineering is even what's it called? It's hard to go up, but you can, there are portions where you can just slide down, um, the mountain, which they call glissading. So you just kind of slide down the mountain. So you, you might've taken like an hour to get up something and then like you just slide down it in like 10 minutes or I don't know really quick but it's really really fun to do so yeah I think that's half the reason I I like doing it was just the part where you could slide down because yeah you're sl pretty much sliding down a mountain on your butt and I mean when I mean sliding down I mean like you're on your butt sliding um down so so if you're not sure what I'm talking about, just look up glissading um, and find a video. And that's what, that's what I mean when you slide down the mountain. But yeah, I do, I do kind of miss it. I didn't get to do any of it in 2020. Everything I was talking about, the Mount Adams, um, was in 2019. Um, but yeah. I'm, I'm not one of those, like hiking to me is a group activity. I can't, I'm not, I can't do it by myself and I don't trust myself to do it by myself either. Um, I don't want to be one of those stories where you're on the news because there are a lot of stories on the news, at least in Washington state where they're like, blah, blah, blah. Um, who was a very experienced hiker who got lost in the woods and no, not me. Um, I am a group hiker. I feel like there's safety in numbers. So yeah, the pandemic has made me not really hike so much just because, um, one, it's harder to do group hikes with all the like social distancing that needs to be done. And plus I don't want to really mask up on the long drive to get there. And yeah. So here's to hoping 2022. <laughs> Or yeah, I don't, I don't think 2021 is going to be much better until maybe the end of the year. So that's why I'm going for 2022. Let's hope for a better 2022. But at least this whole diamond painting thing has helped me not go crazy. Like it has kept me busy, um, with all this staying at home stuff. Um, this YouTube channel has given me an outlet to talk to people more because yeah, with the whole social distancing thing, you're not, you're not what they call that socializing with people as much. So, but yeah, we'll see. I'm going for a better 2022. Um, 
But yeah, at least this whole diamond painting has been good stress relief. Um, and I mean, I do still have to go to work and, and as, yeah, it just, it's not fun, like going to work and having to wear your mask all day. It's just, it's suffocating. I, I give kudos to the people who work in the hospitals because they are like surrounded by sick people and what's it called? Having to wear all the PPE all the time. I, I work in, I work in a lab, um, it's, it's an environmental science lab and I mean the people I see there are people just pretty much the people who work there so I'm, I'm, I don't have that many people around me and but still just wearing wearing the masks gets it gets really hard to breathe sometimes so I give kudos to to those that have been working full-time masked up because yeah I've been lucky that I've only really had to go into work like a couple days a week and not for the full time a lot of what I do can um a lot of what I do is not just in the lab but um analyzing the results and that can be done outside of the lab so yeah I give kudos to everyone who has worked because they're essential worker and have to mask up and deal with the craziness that all of this has all the craziness that whole the whole pandemic has done so okay is it gonna fit It's very close. I think I'm going to try squeezing this in and seeing if it closes. Um, but yeah, here's to hoping for a better 2022 or at least the last half of 2021. I'm hoping it's much better. So, yeah. Hmm, what can else? Oh, what's the call? So do you guys think that the Olympics are going to happen? Like, I know it sounds like they're, they're saying it's still going to happen, but I kind of feel sorry for the organizers of the Olympics. And then just because they were probably hoping for an influx of, of tourism during the Olympics and now they're not going to get it. So I give, I, yeah. And all of the athletes that were, hoping to peak in 2020 yeah i'm i'm and it's kind of sad that they might they might have lost that opportunity in 2020 like maybe they haven't had as much training in 2021 for the for the olympics to happen in 2021 and if it happened in 2020 they might have actually won or something but but yeah i i can't imagine like because okay so the, the thing I like about the Olympics is unlike the, you know, like professional sports, like a lot of these people are, unless they're like a big name, are not, are doing the Olympics not for money. Um, they're doing it for just the experience. So a lot of these people sacrifice a lot just to be in peak shape for the Olympics so when things like the pandemic happens and then they're not able they weren't able to do it in 2020 when they were probably training all through like 2019 to be ready for 2020 and then things called gyms closed down and then suddenly they weren't able to train so yeah I don't I don't know how I, do, I don't know I don't think there's going to be as many records, I guess, happening in the, in the 2021, I guess, Olympics now, just because I, I'm figuring a lot of people haven't had the ability to train as much as if there was no pandemic going on. So I give, yeah, no, it just, it would just suck that you, 
you what's it called train so much hope to peak in 2020 and then the pandemic happens and then you're you back because then you have to keep training and then but facilities aren't opening so can how can you keep training and yeah so I don't really feel so much sorry for like the people who are in the professional sports because they make the big bucks so yeah um but people in the olympics unless you're one of the big name ones they are not making the big bucks so they're doing it plainly for probably glory and just love of the sport um this one's not gonna fit either Now I'm wondering if I'm gonna fill up the rest of the containers with the excess because I don't think I have that many excess other than the 310 everything else could probably fit in another container um, I don't know if I'll make that effort or it'll just put the bags on top um, yeah well should I just make the effort put the bags on top I guess we'll find out in my, in like a minute when I finish pouring out this last one and then start counting the excess bags. Let's see. It is nice that these came in the baggies. I think if I had to cut these things open, it wouldn't have been as easy to pour into here. Maybe, I don't know. Okay, so let's see. So I have, what did I say? I have 12 extra. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So this one is going to take two, probably this one. Okay, so let's just do it backwards. The 310, I'm not going to do unless um, I have a lot, but let's just, let me get some labels. So, as much as I hate 3756. So, I really hate these ones where I'm like pondering which one's the DMC. So, 3756. So, what I think I'm going to do is just. Yeah, I'm going to go backwards since the 310. And plus, since this is the first time I'm using these containers, I kind of want to open all of them to see if they. They are all good. All the containers are good. So I am going to fill them all up. And that way I don't have like excess baggies like lying around somewhere. So three, seven, five, six. And I figure when I empty out the other one, I'll just switch the caps. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. So what's this one is 890. Maybe I'll just write them all out. 890, 794, 793, 647, and 317, and 310. We'll see. Well, the 310s I might just keep in the baggie because there's just so much, but we'll see. So 890. Oh, 890 is going to need more than just one bottle so I think I'm gonna need two for 890 yeah so I'm gonna need another sticker for 890 So yes, I can make the labels myself. I'm just, I just don't like right, making the symbols. I think that's the biggest thing is like some symbols. I mean, these ones actually remarkably look a lot, a lot less symbolage and more letters, but 
yeah. I don't... I don't like drawing the symbols. Um, and I like the fact that I can see the color around the symbols when it's... when I do the scanning. And, and it's not even a lack of labels. I have so many labels. Like, so since I have so many storage containers, a lot of storage containers come with labels. So then, yeah, I just accumulate all these labels because I just have so much storage. And, but then since I don't use them, I just have so many of them now. So yeah, it's not even a lack of labels because I have a lot. It's just, yep, I would, I don't even know if it's faster for me to do my scanning and what's it called? Printing. I think it's faster. I, I would be really bad at drawing some of the symbols just because, yeah, though, some symbols are, yeah, a little bit hard to write. Okay, so am I going to do... All of these in 310 or just one more? Will they all fit? What do you think? I do have five. Let's see. I might not even label the 310s. I'll just be like, okay, these are all 310s. Um, So this is purely because I just don't want to have the the baggy. So yeah, I think don't think I'm gonna label all the rest of the three tens, and then just assume that it's a three ten. I think that's a good enough assumption. It's very obvious it's three ten. I didn't even think there would be this much three ten on this. I mean. It's a mountain. It's not like a black background, but I guess maybe a lot of, maybe the trees are black. The trees are black and maybe this stuff here is black. But yeah, no, I didn't think there would be that much black in this, but I guess there is. Okay, the question is, will it fit in the last three? Okay. But at least now I'm testing out all 60 of the containers since this is the first time I'm using this container. Um, actually, you know, the whole bottles, it all fits, yay. Um, the whole bottle system, it might be kind of nice. They are pretty. Um, I don't know if I like the whole like twisting thing because most of my, oop, 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 that was bad. Most of my, um, storage just have kind of clasps, um, clasp top. Is that what the right word? Clasp where it just snaps closed. So I don't know if I like the whole twisting thing. Cause you just saw, I just spilled a whole bunch of drills because I don't know how to close these apparently. Um, so, and I don't know how well these will close one handed. So yeah, I think that's the reason I didn't buy these mainly is because I figured the clasp system would be easier because then I could just close them with one hand. Um, I don't have to do the whole twisting thing. Um, man. And I wouldn't accidentally lose a cap because I could see myself doing that, losing one of the tops. Um, so yeah, twisting seems like a lot more effort but i guess you won't accidentally also like when you open the class ones where you kind of open it too violently and then they go everywhere but you saw i just went all everywhere from just twisting this thing okay so yep everything fit um i surprisingly so yeah so here is the image again. I accidentally actually printed this twice, so I actually have the image twice. But yeah, if you see this kidding up posted, that means I'm probably almost done or already done with this diamond painting. So thank you for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye.